What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, I'm gonna check out The Rock Says rumored WrestleMania 30 my, uh, 39 match with Roman Reigns was locked in on the Pat McAfee show. A couple of you guys have sent this to me on Instagram and Twitter. So, I definitely had to check this out. Very interesting for The Rock to be saying that things were locked in with Roman Reigns uh, at WrestleMania 39. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what was supposed to happen we're gonna get right into this one very interested to see what the rock has to say about this whole situation because i know a lot of people were expecting him to be at this uh this past year's wrestlemania since it was in hollywood and it would have made sense uh for him to potentially maybe be feuding with roman reigns at some point but we'll see what he has to say here. Appreciate all love and support. Let's get right into this one. For that surgery, rehab, that's months and months, right? Of this was, I did triple hernia surgery, emergency surgery, but the tearing the quad off my pelvis, I had to go shoot Hercules. Oh, geez. So oh. I actually shot that movie Hurt. I didn't do surgery. Wait, you said tearing the quad off the pelvis? Wait, what? Hercules. Oh so my pelvis, I had to go shoot hernia surgery, but the tearing the quad off my pelvis, I had to Jesus. go shoot Hercules. So oh. I actually shot that movie Hurt. I didn't do surgery. So everything kind of just scar tissued up. And <laughs> Damn. Damn. of all the guys looking at me crazy. <laughs> yeah. 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 He's got no, he, his knees are, he can't even walk this right. guy. I mean, it's a whole thing. <laughs> so great. now that we're learning all this, that kind of enforces the fact that people say, the reason why you don't get back into the WWE as much is because if you get injured, it potentially slows down your entire, you have, Hundreds yeah. of people that work on your movies. Your team is one that relies upon Thousands them. of people, man. Yeah. 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 Thousands, <laughs> of people. Yeah. Thousands. Thousands of people. That, that is a massive reason why I assume that you haven't been able to get back. I mean, once again, it, it kind of makes sense because he's he's done it before in the past when he was wrestling John Cena. I, I don't know if it was the first one, the first match they had at WrestleMania or the second match they had at WrestleMania where he ended up injuring uh he ended up tearing something i don't know it had something to do with his abdominal muscles but he ended up getting injured and it kind of had postponed what he had kind of going on for hollywood so it's another reason why we don't see him as much only because if he does get injured then there's a good chance you know it's gonna slow up whatever movie obligations he has going on which is millions of dollars <laughs> in the making so if something gets slowed up slowed up production wise that's they're losing money you know somebody's gonna you know potentially be uh upset about that so i understand why he doesn't do it because of how big of a movie star he is so back as much as like all the wwe fans have been looking for or? honestly brother it's not it's not the injury that i'm concerned about because that's just part of it it's just part of the game you sign up for it you get hurt we all get hurt that's just the way it is um, it's not even the schedule because I could control the schedule to a large degree. Mm. It always comes that me going back to uh, WWE and wrestling a match always comes down to the reason why and what can we create that's never been done before for the fans. Mm. So that's that was that's the idea. Okay, which is perfect. Let's lead into last year in LA. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So far, uh -huh. yeah. Roman obviously on an incredible run. Yeah. The bloodline, huh? Yeah. They're not talking about my bloodline. No. They're not about Connor's nope. bloodline. No. Definitely not. Ty's definitely not. Nope. Mm. Tones, no. AJ Hawk's bloodline runs real deep. They're not yeah. talking about, they were talking about uh, yeah. your bloodline. <laughs> so that story was a big one. The Rock and Roman, SoFi, LA. How close? Did that ever, and was that close? All right. So The, the Rock uh, headlining WrestleMania was Roman Reigns. SoFi Stadium, uh, that was locked. What? Oh, oh, we were. <laughs> no way. Whoa. We're then what the hell happened? Hey, yo. What happened then? If it was locked in, what happened? I need some answers. What is going on? That, I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. That, that would have been crazy. It would have been crazy. And then you could have saved, you know, maybe potentially Cody Rose beating Roman at this year's, well, this uh, next year's upcoming WrestleMania instead of him losing. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's crazy. We were doing it. We, no, we, we, we were doing it. We were doing it. But let me just tell you. So uh, about in, in the beginning of 2022, um, 
Nick Khan, who we know, shout friend out to of ours, Nick, shout out very to good friend, Dog. long time for years. Dog. Yeah. Uh, he's the man, he was very instrumental in bringing Vince and I together. We all flew to LA, we met, we sat, this is the beginning in 2022, and we broke out <laughs> Terra Mana, we toasted life, yeah, toasted yeah. the business wow. world, and about an hour later, we started talking about the potential of what this match could be between myself and Roman Reigns headlining WrestleMania at SoFi. And so they started talking about it at the beginning of 2022, bro. Let me, I, I just want to make sure I heard that correctly. Later, we started talking about the potential of what this match could be between myself and Roman Reigns headlining WrestleMania at SoFi. And we shook hands and we hugged right there, all three of us at the in oh. 2022. Together, we all flew to LA. We met, we sat. This is the beginning in 2022. Bro, what? So this was a year out, a year out, at, at beginning of 2022. You, what? I'm so confused in what fell through. That's plenty of time to get something going. What? And we broke out <laughs> Terra Mana. We toasted life, yeah, toasted yeah. the business we love. And about an hour later, we started talking about the potential of what this match could be between yeah. myself and Roman Reigns headlining WrestleMania at SoFi. And we shook hands and we hugged right there, all three of us at the table and said, let's do this. And so the North Star though, so then we had a year mm -hmm. to yeah. really think about this. Yeah. So the North Star thought was, okay, let's not do something good. Let's not do something great. Let's do something unprecedented. And it was in what can we create for the fans that has never been done before. A match, great. Roman, incredible athlete. He's gonna be on Mount Rushmore. Super handsome. Right? Super handsome, good dude. My cousin, family, it, amazing. We're, we can have the match, but the bigger thought was, what can we do for the fans in this business that we love that will, uh, where, where WrestleMania isn't the end of something, it's actually the beginning mm. of something bigger. Got it. So. So what happened? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. we got really, really close, but we couldn't actually yeah nail what yeah. that thing was so we decided to put our pencils down and then we agreed hey listen there's uh there is a merger coming up eventually that will happen there's wrestlemania in philadelphia oh Ooh. Ooh. whoa whoa oh 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 there's the eyebrow yeah. whoa <laughs> wait a minute wait a minute oh. Man, hold on oh Ooh. 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 whoa whoa oh oh, oh. Oh, there's the eyebrow. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> what you trying to say here, man? What are you saying? Whoa. I, I'm saying, Whoa. I'm saying that that's a potential too. So oh, okay. Open, yeah. open, open. Yeah. I'm open, I'm open, okay. I'm open. But again, let's figure out what that is because the fans deserve something just incredible and unprecedented. And not only that, but I also want to deliver to the locker room and the boys and the, and the girls back there are working their asses off. What can we do to put them in a position where they're part of something that is a new change, an era in this world of pro wrestling? Again, Vince is a big picture thinker, as you know. Yes, sir. And this is why we've gotten along for years, just trying to think big picture, so. How do you feel about his see. mustache? Right now. <laughs> strong. How do you feel about his strong? Strong? Oh, strong? Yeah, strong. 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 Man, hold on, bro. That sounds like a whole bunch of malarkey. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know what happened. But it seems like everything was a go and then something fell through. I don't know. We didn't really get no concrete answer. All we got was, yeah, it was locked in, then something fell through. Now, here's the thing. Am I going to sit up here and, and, and pretend to not be somewhat excited if that was the end game for Roman Reigns going forward or if that was his opponent going forward for this year's uh well next year's upcoming wrestlemania of course i would be excited excited but but the same time i'm i'm real it's like i'm kind of like over it if that makes any sense if it happens that's cool but i would prefer and i know some people are tired of me saying this but I would prefer if the story was finished through Cody. Now, you can still have the match. I am all for them having that match. But the, it, the title obviously doesn't need to be involved. Because we, 
there's no way I'm, I'm thinking realistically the rock versus roman for the title there's no way that roman's losing you know what i'm saying there's no way i can see roman losing the title to the rock since the rock's not going to be here like that but if it's not for the title you can kind of you can kind of work with the unpredictability of it but me personally it would kind of be weird if all of a sudden the rock inserted himself into this or whatnot and then cody's kind of sideline granted we don't even know how the landscape for wrestlemania will be next year people may be behind uh somebody else like a la la night even more you know what I'm saying like, we don't know or you know maybe they have gunther do something we don't know i know it's been penciled in and talked about that cody is gonna finish the story at some point at next year's wrestlemania once again i don't know how much the rock will be involved i'm not really taking this too much to heart with him saying you know i think you know wrestlemania is coming up it's gonna be in philly that sounds cool on paper but i think the perfect opportunity the perfect opportunity was at sofi since it was in la that would have been a perfect opportunity in my personal opinion so so comment down below let me know how do y'all feel about uh the rock you know pretty much letting it be known that it was locked in but it didn't fall through you know how do y'all feel about his explanation of that and do y'all have the same interest to see him uh going against roman reigns at next year's wrestlemania or are you kind of past that point let me know how y'all feel about it down below but i appreciate all the love and support guys are strong on channel road to 150k and i'm still the unspeeded youtube wrestling champ of the world appreciate y'all kicking me see you next week. peace